Hello, hello, hello. I think we're live. I normally have my little video to play before we start, um, but it didn't play. So I'm unexpectedly live slightly quicker than I expected to be. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Paul right on cue, vaping away in the background. No broadcast is complete without Paul vaping in the background. I think you'll agree. Um, so if we've got anyone joining us already, give me a little hello in the chat. That'd be good to see who's with us. Um, looks like we've got someone on Facebook watching, which is great. Hello to you. Um, but don't know who's there from the LinkedIn family. So give us a little hello in the comments. So I'm super excited today. You know, I'm always excited anyway, but I'm super excited today because this is the first of our guest lives. So I've got my good friend Anne-Marie on today. So I'm just going to introduce her in a sec um, to talk to us about her story, her life experience currently, which is a really interesting story. So I'm really excited to introduce her to you. But I just wanted to kind of frame these new sessions, really, and just explain the purpose of what I'm trying to achieve with all of this. So it's kind of three things, really. There's something about human potential for me. I get really excited and that's probably... Yeah, it's probably the main reason I wanted to be a coach, really, is because of what we can do, what we can achieve. So there's something about human potential for me. It's, you know, finding out exactly what we can do. And it is limitless, honestly, and that really excites me. There's also something about uniqueness and authenticity. So I really want us to not shy away from, from who we are and what we're about, but to be out there with it. Um, because that's unique, you know, that's what we bring to the world and that's what makes a difference. Like colours in the rainbow, we all add something to that spectrum and it's a beautiful thing. So uniqueness is one of those things. And then the final thing is about happiness and fulfilment. So, you know, it's about learning how to step into that, learning how to take that because we deserve that and creating it for ourselves. You know, we have one life to live, so let's live it in the best way we possibly can. Let's make it as happy, let's make it as fulfilling, let's make it as purposeful as we possibly can. So that's part of what I want these broadcasts to be about. It's also about attainable dreams and goals, so there are tons of influencers out there. Um, there are loads of people that we can look up to and learn from. But I wanted to I wanted to create something a bit different. I wanted to create something that was more attainable, that was more real people, just normal, everyday people, specifically women, who are doing great things because I never had that. I never had, you know, I didn't know people who were doing inspiring stuff. I didn't know people that were breaking the mold. And that would have been so helpful for me now that I'm trying to do that. So, you know, it was only the, the celebrity level people. And that's great. But it feels like there's such a gap then. There's such a difference between where they are and where I am. So I want to create a space where every week you can hear from someone different and it's a much smaller gap. It's more attainable. You can see what they've done and you can think about how you can create that for yourself. So that's what I want these sessions to be about. Big dreams. I want it to be, you know, like when you were a kid, anything was possible. Anything was possible when you were a kid, wasn't it? And like, I had so many things. I wanted to be a fashion designer. I wanted to be an astrophysicist. <laughs> I probably didn't really know what it meant. And when I found out how much physics was involved, I dropped that one pretty quickly, to be fair. But the point is, we had these dreams, you know, there were these things that were very real to us and very attainable. And as we get older, we lose it. We lose faith in it. We, you know, we find all of the reasons why we can't do this stuff. And I want to bring some of that back. I want you to see that you can achieve this stuff. You can live a beautiful, exciting, amazing life. It's all within your gift. So that's something I want you to really get. I want to reignite that passion in you. I want to get you all fired up about what you can achieve. So it's real women doing amazing things with an aim of inspiring you 
to be your best self. So, you know, I'm not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but with these sessions, I just want to introduce you to other people who might be your cup of tea, that might speak your language, that you might resonate with better than just me, um, because that's what I want. My aim for this year is to positively impact the lives of 250 women. That's my target. That's my goal that I set myself. And this feels like one way that I can do that. So if I don't resonate with you, hopefully one of these beautiful souls that I'm going to introduce you to will do that. So this week, it's Anne-Marie, um, beautiful creature that she is. I was giving it a little bit of thought before I came onto this live and thinking about what do I really like about Anne-Marie? So we've not known each other that long. We met in October last year when we were both doing the same coaching program and we got put into the same accountability group with another three amazing women as well. And it's been great. I've really enjoyed spending time with Anne-Marie. And the three words that I want to use to sum her up are resolute. She digs her heels in. She keeps going. Um, and that's one of the things that I love and admire about Anne-Marie. She's resilient. She takes the knocks and she keeps on coming back for more. Brilliant quality. And the third thing is that she's real. So what I love about her is that she's just one of life's genuinely nice people. So without further ado, let's bring her on screen. Not done this before, so hopefully it works. <laughs> <laughs> <She's in. laughs> <laughs> I'm blushing. <laughs> I know. I deliberately didn't have you on camera while I was saying all the gushy <laughs> stuff about you because it's like, oh God, it's nice, but it's so embarrassing. Um, <laughs> But it's good. It's good to know that, you know, people admire you and see these really great qualities in you. So that's one of the things that I love about these sessions. It's my opportunity to tell people how I feel about them. Yes. So let's get stuck in. I'm so excited. Tell me oh, I'm about so you. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm from Canada. So originally I was, you can tell the accent. Um, and it's early in the morning, so I have a thicker accent this morning. <laughs> um, but I've lived most of my life in, in English territory. I'm in Alberta, Canada right now. Um, and um, I a year, two years ago is really when I started looking at coaching. I had no idea what coaching, life coaching was, and somebody was telling me about it, and I was like, oh. That's life coaching. That sounds interesting. <laughs> I need a coach in life. <laughs> so I started looking, and that was a time in my life where I didn't know where I was going. I just know I just knew that this wasn't it. I was working retail. I was a manager in retail, and I was like, okay, like I'm done with this. Like, what else is there to like? It, it can't be just it. I'm tired. I'm tired of this. What else is there? And when I started doing the course, I just really clicked and. I knew probably a month in, like, that's what I wanted to do, wanted to do with my life. And so um, fast forward, uh, I did, fast forward to last July, um, I quit my retail job. It just really wasn't working for me anymore. And then I started my business, which is Your Self Quest Coaching. And you know what, I, I was like, this is great. I just need to learn how to get clients. <laughs> and in December, we moved to a smaller town, which is what we wanted to do. And with everything that had been going on, something, I woke up one morning and I was like, who am I? Literally, like, the, the, like I, I felt different. I felt like, I literally felt like my whole identity had been erased. Like take take a, a, a board, a chalkboard, and erase it, and that's how I felt. And I was like, "Holy crow! <laughs> what, what is do I happening? Do now? To me? What do I do now? Because I didn't want to do anything. I wanted. I, I had. I had no desire. I knew that." And so I had to basically start from scratch and say, like, what is happening? And so that's the journey I've been on for the last four months. And uh, I had to get help. 
I've had a few people helping me, which Nick, you're one of them, and the other ladies, as well as a few other people in my life, which I'm so grateful for. And now I'm at a point where like, okay, you know, like I'm, I'm learning all of these things. I'm gathering the data. I'm putting it all together. And then I'm just about there. I'm just about ready to get back in the game, which is I'm excited about. <laughs> Absolutely. So I think this is probably something quite common. So obviously we've spoken about it before several times, haven't we? And it's almost yeah. like an awakening is one way to describe it, sort of what the process that you've been through. But I imagine it's really frightening, you know, because how do you all of a sudden wake up and feel like, I don't know who I am anymore and I don't know where I'm going, so. Yeah, yeah, it very, it very frightening. It was like, um, it, it felt like, it, it felt like I was a stranger in my own skin. It felt like I, I was like, who, who, who is this? And people didn't recognize me. My family didn't recognize me. I literally shut up for a, a week or two. I was like literally in my office and I came out for lunch and dinner. And that's, you know, that's about it. I was like, I, and I was like looking through, and it is an awakening. It, it's a, some people call it a spiritual awakening. Some people call it an identity crisis. Some people call it uh, an existential crisis. Um, of like literally it, it happened in a split second it, there's no it, and it, it is very confusing and being who i am i wanted to know more about it and i did a lot of research and and i but the thing that helped me the most was help because if i hadn't had the people that helped me to ask me the question to 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 direct me I would probably still be back there. I would still probably not know who I am. I would probably still not understand what's happening with me, which is not a good place to be. <laughs> Absolutely. But tell us a little bit about, because I've been fascinated by some of the stuff that you've been studying. So the stoicism and the philosophy, and you know, you're always yeah. telling me about these great um you know books that you've been reading and immersing yourself in all of this kind of education which is something i'm all fired up about that you know learning i'm all about that Tell yeah about so that you've explored so um more recently like well within the next few last few months um I, i've been looking at taoism and and you know a lot of people kind of like reject taoism because it's a religion I'm not a religious person. I'm a very spiritual person. I believe in source, God, whatever you want to call it, the way, that's how they call it. Um, and and really, it's. I read the whole thing in probably like a week, uh, the whole book, and, and really studying it and how does it apply. Because really, all it is, is like all of us are doing so much. And I, my whole life, I've been like, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta get it done, gotta get it done. And like not taking the time to just like sit back and say, you know what, that's my intention. Put it out there. There I will be taken care of. And knowing within myself that I because whether you call it source the way, it's within us. We have that God spark, if you like. We have that source spark. We have that thing within us. We're all powerful. And I've come to really, really believe that through Taoism through um, the philosophy, uh, the stoic, which is basically the same thing. It's just like, okay, so this is what happened. My past is my past. And I don't have to be affected by my past because my past doesn't equal my future. And the moment is now. <laughs> and it's important to remember the past, but it's and having a, an intention for the future but without, I don't know, like living in a mystery, having that mystery kind of um, being able to like exactly surrounding, right? Like surrounding to what it is that, that's happening. And that's a, was a huge book for me was the, uh, the Surrender Experiment and the Unfettered Soul by uh, Michael Singer. 
because we're so much in our thoughts. And our thoughts are not us. We're not our thoughts. We're not our body. We're, th we're a three parts dynamic and we have to work with all of those. So being able to like really, we're not our emotions either. So being able to like see the emotion and say, okay, I feel crabby today. But I'm happy that I'm happy and feeling crabby. And it's a really weird feeling. But when you can get to that and say like, okay, so this feeling was made by those emotions over here. And say like, is that true? And being really able to like, kind of like be the observer of what you're thinking and your emotion instead of being the effect of them. And it enables you to say, okay, you know what? That's not what I, that's not, that's not what I want. So let's go and do, uh, let's, let's do it differently, right? Like let's switch gear. And it, it just enables you to do that and be able to take those steps forward and, and be able to go, okay, this is what I want, but I don't know how I'm going to get there. Yeah. And that is a good word, isn't it? Surrender. It is almost mm -hmm. about um, being open, trusting that all things will be well. Um, and just kind of yielding to it. And as you say, that observer perspective, I talk about that a lot in my yeah. coach. We latch on to, don't we? We mm. latch on to that emotion, we latch on to that thought, and it just takes us. Mm. Whereas just being in the present, seeing it, acknowledging it, and choosing, that's the thing for me. It's all about choice, isn't it? You can choose. Yeah, I will hang on to that because it's good for me, because it's serving me in some way. No, I'm not going to hang on to that. I'm going to let that one go because it's not serving me. It's not It's not making me better. It's not giving me the positive emotions because we exactly. want to dwell in that positivity. You know, we want to be in joy. We want to be in happiness. We want to be in curiosity and awe and all of that great stuff. And it's just choice. And that's exactly it. And talking about awe, right? Talking about being like in the curiosity and the mystery is like, Look, we don't need to name everything. We don't need to label everything. Can, can we just go look at a tree, look at a bird without naming what it is? It's okay. It's beautiful. That's great. That's amazing. It's beautiful. It's But there's a mystery. It's not a bird. It's a bird. But it is, it's so much more. And so are we. I'm Anne Marie. I'm, that's just my label that people call me. I'm not Anne. Like, I'm so much more. Right. And being able to like look at it and go, oh, my goodness. Life is just happening. You know, mm -hmm. it, it just happened. And it, we see it from one perspective. But when we start being able to like go, let go of that perspective and go, you know what? Here I am on this small blue planet rotating around a sun in this amount of space. You go, oh, OK, yeah. You know what? That's that's pretty cool. It, it's just gonna happen no matter what. It will continue to happen. The trees are gonna the trees are gonna keep growing. The birds are gonna keep singing. So it will happen. I am taken care of just like everything else on this. Nature is just gonna happen, and so will I, and I will be taken care of. And it's yeah. not apathy. I've, I've been told that before. Like, well, don't you think that's a little pathetic? I'm like, no, because I still want things. I still have desires and I still put them out there and I still do the work towards them. But it's not up to me whether it happens or not. I, I Detachment of what is going to happen, detachment of results. It, it's just so freeing. It's just so freeing. Right? Yeah, it's like put your attention into the intention for it to happen, but be prepared to let go of the control of having to make it because we can't control everything you know what we can control is how we respond to things um the things that we do the rest of it is out there and when you realize that and let go of that as you say that's a really liberating thing isn't it Absolutely. so tell me about what's making you get out of bed What's that kind of purpose and, and meaning? I'm really into that at the minute, having a, 
having a kind of a north star and you know something that is consistent in my life that that makes me want to get up and go what's yours what gets me up and go in the morning that's a really good question um you know i love to how can i help you <laughs> Oh, you were asking me for a minute then. I've been like, wow. <laughs> How can I serve people? How can I help people? How can I make people feel better about themselves and so that they know that they don't have to continuously live in anxiety, not knowing who they are? But you know, that is part of it. Here's, here, here's what really gets me up in the morning. And I, I know that's going to sound super weird what's next what's going to happen next what other, what next wonderful experience am i going to have who am i going to talk to what conversation am i going to have with my friend just what's next what what's life going to give me <laughs> yeah i love that so it's just kind of being in the moment isn't it it's just mm -hmm. kind of being open to what's today going to bring me what are the yeah. gifts <laughs> Because that's what they are, that they're a gift. Right? Yeah, gift and opportunity. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Let me just quickly look at the chat. Amanda's saying, having awareness and consciousness, universe, God, the source always has our back. Yeah, totally. You're on the same page, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, um, part of what I love, I said kind of in the intro, is the concept of uniqueness, is mm -hmm. the fact that we're all a little slice of that rainbow. We've all got these different beautiful gifts to give to the world. Mm -hmm. um, and I call them superpowers because I think, I think they are because it's what makes us unique. It's what makes us powerful. It's what allows us to be able to make an impact and make a difference in our lives and the lives of others. So I'm really interested to know what's your superpower or your special source? What's the thing that makes you unique? Whew. You know, I, I think it's just really being able to feel people, like feel their energy, feel their, and, and being able to see from their perspective. So my perspective is my perspective and that's great. However, I'm, I am really good at being able to say, okay, so I don't necessarily agree with you, However, I can see where you're coming from and let's talk about it, right? Let's, let's get into a conversation and see if we can't come to, to where we can, come, you know, make, yeah, where it makes sense over. for both of us, right? Um, also, just, just a genuine wanting to, my curiosity, I'm so curious. I, I just want to know everything I, you know, and so sometimes it can, because I'm also very direct, I, I will tell you when, you know, in a nice way, but I will, you know, you know me. <laughs> but being able to do that with, without, with, without making conflict, if you'd like. Um, you know, and more recently, I'm really learning to see how, like the yin yang, right? the black and the white the together doesn't mm. necessarily mean bad and good. And being able to, um, being able to to work with that at the same time of seeing how other people can see this is bad. And I go, okay, well, let's look at the good because I can see both sides and they can't necessarily make them see that, right? Yeah, so it's that kind of impartiality. You're able to mm. step outside and be able to offer people that more rounded, balanced perspective. Mm. Mm. Love that. Um, so last of my serious questions um, is, I, you know, I'm all about confidence. I'm all about that authenticity, uh, you know, that self-belief. And I'm interested in how each of the people that I'm going to speak to can contribute to that in their way. 
So what, uh, you know, tips, tricks, advice, you know, what have you got that you can share with people that will enhance their life? Oh, have a routine for self-care. You know, mm -hmm. like meditate five, ten minutes a day. It doesn't have to take long. Do something that feels good. It's okay to do things that feels good, and you're never too busy to do that because it's it, it's not selfish to self care. It no, it is not selfish to self care. In actual fact, it's selfish not to self care because if you don't take care of yourself, if you don't take care of your your needs or your desires, life's too short, man. Life's too short. I've done it for too long, and you know what? I I don't compromise on my self-care i even when i don't feel like it because i know it's what's going to get me it's what's going to get my day much better right i'm going to be here present for you i'm going to be here present for my clients for my friends for my family and that's that's otherwise i'm not um, yeah so important isn't it i'm hearing a lot about self-care um, lately as well. I think it, it's becoming a bit of a sort of a buzzword thing, isn't it? And it's easy to mistake it for taking a bath, going getting no. a massage, you know what I mean? No. But it, it's so much bigger than that, isn't it? And, and find something to be curious about. I, I've studied for fun. I've studied quantum physics, right? Like I was just curious, like, what does that mean, right? And do something that's like wild and you're just excited about and you're just curious about. You don't have to become uh, an expert in it. Just find out. Be curious. It's kind of food for the soul. That's how I think of it. It's not yep. about what it is that you do. It's about the effect and the impact that it has on you. Like chase the energy. Just do something that makes you go, oh, damn, that's good. <laughs> yeah. And listen to that voice. Listen to the quieter voice in yourself. It will give you the direction you need. It gives me direction every day. If, if, if your voice is saying, go help this person, go help this person. That's probably the right thing. If somebody, if your voice is saying, eh, I, I just don't think I, I want to stay home tonight and watch Netflix. I don't watch Netflix, <laughs> but I want to watch it. Do it for a couple hours. That's okay. You deserve it. Yeah. Love that. That's a brilliant tip. Um, so over to uh, over to chat. So if anyone's got any questions for Anne-Marie, stick them in the chat. would love to know. Um, whilst you're doing that, I've got three silly questions to ask. Please. So my first one, anyone who knows me knows that I have a sweet tooth. Loving the cake, loving the biscuits. So what's your um, favorite in the Cheese. cake slash biscuits arena? <laughs> cheesecake. Nice. I love the cheesecake. Oh, give me all the cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheesecake all day, every day. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and what type? Are we talking kind of American baked cheesecake or...? Uh, you know, I, any kind of cheesecake. It's just all the cheesecake. It's just all good. <laughs> it's all good. Just all the cheesecake all the time. Okay. All the cheesecake <laughs> all the time. I'm not going to argue with that at all. Um, and what about, you mentioned Netflix, you don't watch Netflix, but what about, uh, what's your entertainment tip? So it might be a podcast, might be YouTube. Um, you know, I, I've what been watching, living? I read a lot. Um, I try to read as I'm reading like five self-help slash philosophy slash <laughs> psychology books. I also try to insert <laughs> one. Um, I love sci-fi. Um, nice. uh, I, I do like TV shows, uh, but we tend to buy them because we'll watch them over and over again. Um, and recently we've been watching... Um, a show called Blacklist. I don't know if you're familiar, but it's it's a really awesome show. I would recommend it. And we do watch that if maybe an hour or two a day. Um, but other than that, like podcast-wise, um, 
have not been watching podcasts recently, but I've been watching a lot of YouTubes. And uh, mainly what I'm watching is like um, Mel Robbins. Um, Cause she's just got great insight. Um, she also, I am, I also, there's a lady because of my awakening um, and, and she's been a lot of help for me uh, has been, um, her name is Christina Lopez and, and she's all about the spiritual and how to like meditation tricks and stuff like that. It, it's, it's, she's pretty and the energy, like how to control your energy and stuff like some of the stuff she does. I'm like, eh. but m most of what she says is really resonates with me. Um, another one would be uh, Michael Singer. He's just amazing. I, I just <laughs> would listen to him all day long. <laughs> You're a fan girl for Michael Singer. Then. Oh, oh yeah, big time. <laughs> if, if I could go anywhere, I would go to his retreat. Mm, okay. So final question then, guilty pleasure. What's a guilty pleasure for Anne Marie? Guilty pleasure. You know what? It's just spending the day walking in nature and just just quiet. Oh. Just quiet. Yeah. Yeah, it's simple. It's a good one. So yeah. guilty pleasures are supposed to be things that you're a bit embarrassed about, like mine is eating pork scratchings. <laughs> well, well, okay, 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 my guilty pleasure. Okay, okay. If you want one of those, I can only give you one of those too. But that—that's my favorite thing to do, and I can't do it very often. No, you know what? Guilty pleasure. That's a really good one. Let me let let me let me think on that for a second. <laughs> oh, you know, spending. Spending a day going to um, to like an expo and just engaging with people is probably like I haven't done it in such a long time. Well, nobody has, but but it's just like spending the day just being selfish and doing something I love. But I don't have a food guilty pleasure or anything like that. I. Oh, okay. No. Maybe it's just no. me then. <laughs> oh, not one. No, it's not just you. <laughs> I know a lot of people with, with with such guilty guilty pleasures, but I, I'm just not a foodie person. I eat salad oh, yeah. every day. I'll tell you an oh my god! <laughs> I'll tell you another one of mine. Then the shame is coming out in force today. So we've got okay. pork scratchings. We've also got each Christmas. I get, you know, you get the, I don't know if you get them over there, but we get like flavoured creams. Um, and there's a Bailey's one. It's like really, really thick, this Bailey's cream. Oh. And every year I intend to smother my Christmas pudding or anything else <laughs> I can get my hands on with this Bailey's cream. And I never do it. So every year I end up with this pot of cream. And for some reason, the best before, well, the you by date is always the 4th of January don't know why it's always fourth of january and i get to like the fifth or sixth of january i remember i've got it and i go oh man it's out of date <laughs> and i eat it, it with a spoon out of the tub with a spoon oh that's and then hilarious like, what the heck and that's that is like the the epitome of guilt okay pleasures. as i'm in the fridge looking over one shoulder to see if paul's gonna catch me i'm like and then I throw it away. <laughs> you you, you want to know a quirk of mine? Uh, and that's a funny quirk. Okay. I, I, I haven't done it for a really long time because I don't work uh, retail or in, a, in an office or anything. But I used to take pleasure at figuring out, at finding out pens that I'd stolen from work. And like seeing how many <laughs> pens I could gather. I'm a pen thief. <laughs> So now that's a good one. Now we're getting to the dark side of Anne Marie. It's coming out now. <laughs> well, on that note, <laughs> before we unearth anything else that you might get arrested for, potentially. <laughs> Any 
other kind of uh, petty theft that might be going on there. Um, I'm going to draw us to a close. We're five minutes over. And as you know, I like to try and finish at one because I'm all about lunchtime. <laughs> That's why I do it at this time of day, because it keeps me on track. <laughs> In the back of my head, I'm like, oh, what's for lunch? What's for lunch? So, uh, yeah, <laughs> Mr. Pabs will be preparing lunch imminently. I'll be eating it and I'll be in my element. So thank you so much for joining me, Anne-Marie. Um, thank you for having me. Yes, it was um, so where can people find you? How can they um, connect with you? Anne-Marie Dubril, D-U-B-R-E-U-I-L on LinkedIn. Or yourselfquest.com is my uh, website. Um, or anne-mary at yourselfquest.com is my email. Perfect. If you wouldn't mind, pop those details into the comments on this. I don't think it lets you do it through the streaming tool, but just go to the post afterwards and stick them in there, and that'll just yeah. make it super easy for anyone that wants to connect. But yeah. So please go find Anne-Marie, connect with her and absorb just the awesomeness that is Anne-Marie. Thank you. I highly recommend it. <laughs> Even just to check anything else from you. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, that's part of what this is about. It's just kind of connecting people to other great people. So everyone in the chat, if you're open to connecting with other people, just stick a comment in there, open to connect. Um, and let's just, you know, let's cross pollinate. Let's just, uh, you know, join forces. So with that, I will love you and leave you. Paul's clanking the pans in the kitchen, which means only one thing. It's time for soup. <laughs> Have a brilliant rest of the day. Thank and you you've got babe. all of your day left, Amory, because it's like yep. 6 a.m. over there now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Catch you later, people. Bye.